Hello friends, welcome. Uh, I have created the filament employees project with uh, Laravel and filament. And I had a comment in my videos if I have added the latest notification in this project. But uh, in this project I used the default one which was before. And this one is I think more nice. So if I come here, and yeah, it's looking like this. So I'm going to add now this notification in our project. And I'm going to clone because I have finished this project. So let's come here and clone first the project in my sites directory. Let's say the uh, git clone. Okay, just uh, let that here. Laraveller because I have many GitHub accounts here. Okay, see the in the filament employees, and let's run the composer install. Okay, and I'm going to open this with VS Code. Now .env, let's save as .env. Filament employees is okay, just change the name to be Laravel, sorry, filament employees. Okay, save it, close this one. Let's run uh, artisan key generate. Okay, if I say artisan migrate. Good. Now let's go and because I have the database from the from this project, I don't uh, delete the database. So now let's open that filament employee test. Let's go and log in. Uh, sorry, let's go in the admin. And login as admin. Yeah, here we have. Now if I go to the departments and let's see, say create new department. And yeah, we have this uh, notification. But let's add the new one. So how we can add this one. So go to the installation. And we need to run the composer require filament notification and we need to update we need to update the admin panel first. Go to the upgrade down there and let's run one by one of them. Okay. Okay. And run the composer update. Now, if we add this uh, in our 
Composer JSON inside the post update CMD, and we need to run only this one instead of all of them. Okay. So let's do that. So let's copy this and let's go inside the composer JSON and add it. So composer JSON. Post update CMD here. Paste that, save. And now we need just to say of this command. Yeah. Okay. Now let's uh, install the notification. We updated the, to the last one. Okay. Then PHP Artisan notification install. And we need to run the npm install and npm run dev. Okay, let's go here. After that, let's see now the notification in our project. So first I'm going to refresh and let's go to the departments and I'm going to, let's delete this one first. Yeah. And as you can see now it's, when it's changing. It's not the first one, but uh, maybe we want to change the position to be here, not in the center. So let's go again. And we can add the title. We can change the color here if you want. So let's send a notification. So we can add title, success and send. With icon. Oh, notification can have an icon that displayed front. So we are going to use arrow icons. Okay. Also, you can add the duration. Seconds. Body. So let's go. First in our uh, config and when we have filament here, let's change. the notification where is the notification live form yeah here we have the notification and change the alignment to be not center but uh, right if i save go to our project and refresh let's delete now this one and now we have that notification here Okay, friends, so create new one now and let's say test again, create, and we have that notification here, close. Okay, now here you can see the documentation, how you can customize that, uh, add styles, add the custom view if you want, and so on. I'm not going to do all of them, just I want to add this new notification to our project. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next videos, friends. All the best.